Okay, today so we're going to be demonstrating how to clean a throttle body and an intake system with the BG system. We're going to be using the BG air intake manifold cleaning system and we're going to be cleaning the throttle body with the Berryman's B12 Chem tool. And what's important for you guys to know when you're cleaning throttle bodies and anything like that is make sure that it is oxygen, let me find it here with my finger in the camera somewhere in here safe for oxygen sensors and catalytic converters that's the most important part here we're going to be cleaning the throttle bodies on a 2015 f550 with a v10 engine in it okay and there's a picture of the vin tag for your task sheet and the truck has 79,283 miles on it so we are able to clean these throttle bodies in chassis and everything, but I thought I'd be best to pull it off here, show it to you, so that you could see um, some of the credit. I'll have my trusty assistant, Jay, here, open the throttle plates there and show you the crud that builds up inside these throttle bodies that um, inhibits the airflow through past the throttle plates. Let me get a little light in there. Now you really see see that crud build up inside there. Jay, take your finger. Can you run your finger across that and see if you can see all that, that crud that builds up on his finger there? And all that stuff has a tendency to restrict airflow in the throttle plates. And then as the computer can you know make adjustments and open the throttle plates a little bit further to get more air past it so that it can idle, but it eventually gets to a point where the computer says, hey, we've gone too far, enough's enough, and, and it either will turn a check engine light on or it won't idle, it'll, it'll stall, come into stops, and, and that's one of the things we were experiencing with this truck is that it would stall, come to a stop, and so we need to uh, clean the throttle body, reset it, and uh, go from there. Okay, so the tools we're gonna need to do this is a, uh, we said we already had the cleaner, which we're using the Chem Tool B12, uh, clean shop towel, and uh, new toothbrush we couldn't find an old one so we went and took uh, my assistant Jay's wife's toothbrush to get this done so I don't think she'll mind we'll give it back okay it's important that we use a soft bristle brush I'm just kidding about the other thing but um it's important that we use a soft bristle brush because we don't want to damage the bore inside here and sometimes these are coated with a Teflon inside here to kind of try to keep them from building up this crud on here um, and if we used a wire brush or something like that it would damage the, the bore. What we've done here is we just took a you know something plastic and just propped it open so that it makes it easy for us to clean it and so you can see what's going on. So I'm gonna have my trusty assistant Jay he's gonna spray it down give it a give it a clean. Jay and we're gonna brush its teeth. Now, like I said, we could do this in the in the car, but as we spray, you know, we're going to fill that intake full of stuff, and we'll have to get that all that crud through there. This way here, where we can show you what's going on, and we can get it really cleaned up, and uh, show you what's going. Give a little light on there. Okay, you can now you can spray it with that cleaner. Wipe it down with a towel. And we can see how shiny that that bore becomes. And that's all we're trying to do, is clean that bore up and clean the throttle plates up. Just trying to get that crud build up off there. And where that crud comes from is all our uh, PCV gases and all that stuff uh, just builds up inside that intake manifold and uh, and just builds lots of crud. All right, so now we can see a, let me get some light on here. We can see the before, right, let's see, this is the before side over here, how cruddy it is, and what we ended up all shiny and clean on this side over here. So uh, we'll just go on and we'll clean that other side up and get it ready for you. 
and then uh, we'll put it back on the car and then we'll hook up the VG cleaner. So today we're going to be using the VG products air intake system. There's other products that are out there, but VG's are our uh, product of choice. They work really good, so we want to um, just show you what to do with that. I know on your task sheet it says we can use water, and uh, water does a really good job of cleaning the intakes as well. So uh, and it doesn't harm the engine at all. So, all right. So Jay's put the throttle body back on. So I'm going to. Um, uh, now I'll show you how to put this tool in. So what we have here with this tool is a, um, a bottle that we can put our chemical in and it comes down here and it uh, this will go in and sit in the throttle body in there so that we can and it has a um, spray tip in here which will just spray into the intake manifold itself. Okay so that sits up in there like that into the throttle body so that it can spray into the intake manifold. Okay, we're putting the liquid into the bottle itself. Okay. And then we're gonna, got it, don't spill. And then we're gonna put the lid back on. So we're gonna hook up our shop air. And we're gonna adjust the air pressure. If I can get that in focus, to about 30 psi, about right there. Okay, we started the engine, making sure that it idles, and so now we're going to turn on the valve. Yep, right there. And make sure the car idles, and it does, and it should run. It'll probably take five plus minutes to run this thing through, and. Uh, Make sure that if you're in the shop, you know, in a, inside of a closed shop, that you've got an exhaust system hooked up to the, um, you know, ventilation system hooked up to the exhaust, so you're not, you know, killing everybody inside the shop. But we're in open air out here, so we're in, we're in really good shape. So we're gonna let this thing run for five minutes, and then we'll wrap her up. Okay, so now she's run, and it's all out, and so we turn that valve off, and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn the engine off and undo everything. So the engine is now off. We're going to go the reverse order. We need to turn that, turn the air down to zero on the machine. And then we're going to open the, take the air off the valve, or take the air hose off the machine. Any time now. <laughs> and then we're gonna op reopen the valve on the Make sure that all the pressure is out of the system. Very good. Okay, then we can take it off the car and we're going to take it off the intake manifold. And put everything back to stock. Uh, this will now require us to, more than likely because the car's been, um, that throttle body was so cruddy and with everything in there, we're going to need to, to uh, do an idle relearn and how we're going to do that on this Ford product we can do it one of two ways we can either reset cam on the IDS which I will show you how to do here right now and or we can disconnect the battery for you know two three minutes and then hook it back up and go through an idle relearn strategy okay so we booted this thing back up to the IDS system here and now we're going to clear cams we can go back here we choose our toolbox and we go down here to powertrain and we can reset cam in the PCM and uh, hit enter and hit yes and voila that's completed but it's just the same thing as, as disconnecting the battery it works uh, just as well on this particular vehicle some of our diesels you do have to go through and manually do it with a computer so now we're going to start it we got to learn the idle so we're going to idle it let it uh, idle for five ten minutes in park then we'll put it in gear uh, with our foot on the brake and let it idle for you know maybe five minutes and then we will uh, turn the AC on let it idle and then uh, after that's done we'll take it out for a drive and make sure everything's good verify our, our repair is complete so um, 